So we spent a lot of time getting the balance right between all the instruments, and everything is sounding pretty well balanced, but not always. For example, I'd like the electric guitar in the second solo to be a bit louder, but I like the level of the rest of the track just the way it is. And this is where Reaper's automation feature comes in. So let's use it to automate a volume boost for the second guitar solo on the lead guitar track. So in the track control panel, you'll see this little button here, and this is the show track envelopes and automation mode here. And this brings up a window showing us every parameter we can automate. So there's a lot of things we could automate if we wanted to. It's a big list, but the most common parameters are right up at the top of the list, like volume and pan. So let's select volume and close the window. Now you'll notice what looks like almost a new track under our lead guitar. This track is actually our volume level track for the lead guitar. And this green line is the volume level. So that's great. Now how do we use this to change the volume? So if we go to the section we want, and I'm actually right here at solo number two, if I hover over this, I get a little up down arrow. And if I click, I can pull this up or push it back down, but I'm just gonna undo that command Z, but it seems to be changing the level of the entire track. So how do we get it to just adjust the level of this section here? Well, for this, we need to add envelope points. And to tell Reaper where we want them, what we do is hovering over the line, holding the shift button, we can now insert envelope points. And we need to put two before and two at the end. And you'll see why we need to do two here in just a moment. But what we've done is separated this front section and the end of the song from this. Sort of like we did when we were cutting our media items to do our editing. So now what I can do is grab this area right here, and when I drag this up, I only raise it in the section I want. And the reason we needed to do the two dots is so that we had two points, because it needs to raise up and then come back down. So let's hear that. That's much better. So we can really apply this kind of volume automation to any track, and it only affects the volume of the track we're on. So for example, if I go down to my vocal track, I'm just going to zoom out. If I wanted to have the ending louder than the beginning, I would select that track, click on automation. I have a lot more parameters here to adjust because I have more plugins on this track, and I would choose volume, close that, and I could put two points here, and then just pull down this beginning just a little bit. So let's just hear what that sounds like here, see if this actually is a good level. That seems good. How about this part? So now we've created two automation moves so that when we play back the track, this last section of our main vocal comes up just a little bit, as well as this second solo also comes up just a little bit in volume. And we're just scratching the surface of the types of things that can be automated in Reaper. But these are the things you're most likely to use.